Ian, it's cup progression. It's a 3 0 victory. Um, is that enough to satisfy you tonight? Yeah, uh, obviously in cups, but we're getting through. We got through well in the end. Um, you know, create loads of chances the second half. Really good uh, performance by their goalkeeper. But we had to work hard for that. We had to, you know, move the ball a bit quicker than we did in the first half. Try and use our fitness um, you know, to better use. And I think we saw that in the second half. We really came forward, came through the game well. I guess you could sound the kind of commentator's klaxon because I'm going to say it for the first time this season. Uh, a performance of two halves? Yeah, um, I think first 10 15 minutes we weren't quite at it. You know, a bit laboured in our possession with the ball. We gave them a couple of opportunities. We could have found ourselves 1 0 down. It should have been 1 0 down, actually. So, really good save from Robbie. Um, then we got to grips with the game. I thought the last 20 minutes of the first half we started to, to dominate the ball a bit more without creating really anything of note. Um, you know, their goalkeeper had a quiet first half. Half time was all about you know let's let's not you know lose our decent run that we're on here today at home, keep our home form to a high standard, place more demands in each other and move the ball quicker. And once we've done that and did move the ball quicker, we we, we done okay. What about the half time message? I, I'm wondering if it's um, if it's all direct from yourself and Mickey, or is there, is there some self motivation from within the squad at half time? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I don't have to tell them too much to be honest. You know, that 15 minutes that we do get flies by by the time we get in and settle things down and then you know go through. What, what we think the first half was like then moving on to the second half and giving players time to get mentally ready as well because sometimes half time is the worst thing you can get they want to keep going and try and keep people calm and, and all that sort of stuff but yeah we've got I've said it since the start we've got good leaders in the dressing room you know, and got good demands in the dressing room and we must keep that going We'll come on to the goals but let's go back to front uh, clean sheet we know how valuable they are and we know how much pride you put in them Absolutely, defenders and goalkeepers, you know, thrive off these sort of things. I felt we were, we were aggressive uh, after the first 10, 15 minutes. Two centre halves who are, you know haven't played together done really, really well. I thought you and helped Adam through the game remarkably well. Always talking to him and coaching him. And Adam, uh, a fine performance again from Adam. You know, that I've said it all along. That's his position. It's just hard. You know, we've got two really experienced centre halves in there at the moment. In terms of giving you that bit of pressure to scratch your head, not only does he do well at, at the defensive position, but he pops up with a goal, and, and it wasn't a centre half goal, but quite similar to when it Lewis uh, Vaughan scored last week. Yeah, really good movement as well, really well worked set play actually from from the boys as well. You know, a little bit off the cuff, and again because we've got good quality within the squad, they, they can go and do that. And uh, it was a great type of score just after half time, settled us down again. And um, I liked the way Adam sort of managed himself in the game, didn't get too cocky because it can go to your head sometimes. He he done what he was there to do first and foremost which was to defend um, for him to pop up with his first goal for the club you know absolutely delighted for him he's worked, he's worked really hard in training it's a moment um, that he won't forget it's uh, probably a strange feeling for him as well um, but yeah he deserves all the applause that he's going to get two other goals from the strikers department which of you those yeah, really good strike from Vaughan. He had a frustrating afternoon. It wasn't quite uh, sticking for him today, but he's, he's a bit like Dylan Easter in that respect. Dylan can kind of have a frustrating afternoon and then shows you know, moments of absolute quality. And that's what you get with these sort of boys. And that's why you have to put up with sometimes with uh, the negative side of it and understand that. But they, they produce moments of brilliance. And Vaughan's done it again today, you know, and off the post from, from distance. And Dylan does it to set up you know, Jack Hamilton's head at the back post. So as much as we didn't get fire in the first half in the forward areas, when, when we look around, the goals, um, you know, it's always these sort of boys that are, that are involved in it. They've just got moments of quality. Robbie's uh, away um, on some crutches with his thigh strapped. Is that more a precautionary thing till you, you get in on Monday in a sense? Yeah, I hope so. Um, you know, it didn't look great from, you know, he's kicked out and went down straight away. He's, a, he's an honest uh, guy, Robbie, very professional. So really, that's our only summer point of the day. Um, you know, we've had to use a substitution um, and also time to do it. You only get so many times to, to make changes. So really disappointed for Robbie. He's been another one that's waited for an opportunity. Um, but you know, we've got good good players on the bench. Obviously, Kevin comes on really assured, which was important for him as well. Um, but we'll assess Robbie Monday morning and see where we are. I've got to ask a question. Everybody knows what your answer is going to be, and that is, what's your thoughts for Thursday? What's your preference? Well, we say anything at home, Davy. It's always uh, we love it here. You know, I think our home record over the last year has been really, really strong. I don't think teams particularly like coming here because um, they know our record is good. So yeah, any any home draw, we don't really want to be travelling. Um, you know, to other parts of the UK at this stage. A respectful word for our visitors. Um, travelled in good numbers, got behind their team, um, diligently kept about the game. Seemed like a game that was played in good spirit as well. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, they're a decent side. I, I think when we look at you know the travel that they've had to do, they had a game midweek, the flight was delayed last night, and then they're here today and they're straight home. It's, it's a hard ask for these guys, and I thought they, they went about their business professionally. Um, Jim's obviously a very experienced manager. They had loads of aggression and physicality in their team. I think obviously they won't look back and they had moments where they could have opened us up a little bit, but they lacked that wee bit of quality today. But football's never easy, Davey, and today was no different. 
We will congratulate you on today's victory. We'll catch up midweek and we'll start talking in Inverness ahead of uh, next week's game, but it's another home win. Well done. Thank you.